Well, that's a terrible excuse. <laughs> is that a terrible excuse? That is a terrible excuse. <laughs> How is that? That's an honest mistake. <laughs> the shape of me, lad. But corny. Look, I'm just gonna front headlock him like that. Vnímám ho tak, že je spíš hloupej, než uh, je nějaký against a boy. I'll be on top of him, hammer fisting him, going let's speak now, let's speak now, and I guarantee you'll be looking at me in silence. Mě to unudilo k smrti, musím říct, nebaví mě ten jeho v úvozovkách trash talk. Až ho porazím, tak to pro něj bude nejlepší stupenka pro, pro profesionální sport, že se hodí víc do pokory. We're just looking at the time now. It's two minutes past ten. Oh no, three minutes. So he's on seven fifty meters already on the ski pole. Um, so every minute adds another two fifty on. So he ended up doing a six k last time because he was what twenty minutes late was it, Sass? Twenty five. Twenty five minutes. Um, so yeah, he's on seven fifty so far. So we'll see. You left your gum shield in your car and you put your car for an MOT. Yeah, so I dropped it off at MOT yesterday. Yeah. And, and the gum shield is in it, so I couldn't come without the gum shield. Well, that's a terrible excuse. <laughs> is that a terrible excuse? That is a terrible excuse. How <laughs> oh, is that? That's an honest mistake. He's like you, he gets a little mood on sometimes and he's just full of fucking devilments and he just wants to fucking do your head. <laughs> yeah, yesterday or the day before. Oh, picking on me again for being short on text message. Well, just pay me right a couple more words. Or to put an emoji on. Start using emojis. What do they want? What? Some kisses. What? Hey. what? 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 Okay, mate, that's fine. X. XO, XO, XO. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is that any different than okay, mate? Because it is. It's a completely different sentence, isn't it? Because they're okay, mate, okay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so sensitive. <laughs> I think it's been a bit of a gradual thing, really. I've noticed the difference in obviously him physically. You know, when like you're having sex and then uh, I feel like I'm the heavier one. <laughs> That's challenging for me. Not for Paul. Baby is for Paul, actually, because uh, <laughs> he's like, get off me. No. I'm really close with Paul, he's fantastic. Become a really good friend. It's just been a pleasure to, to coach him, really, and to... We've got to kill that bicep off, haven't we, Paul? Elbow knee again, where's that right arm? Good. Elbow knee is hit, knees again. To see him evolve over the past, you know, what, nine, ten months or whatever it's been. One of the biggest things I'm going to take away from this is, I mean, I've always loved MMA, but, like, the amount of respect I've got for the, what, what these do for a living and what they put themselves through and the dedication they got and how they look after each other. Like, Sass and Lou don't have to get in here with me and do this and, like, this is on top of their normal training. Hey. Big breath, hold it, Sam. Hold it. I'm used to performing in front of people and I'm used to kind of high-pressure situations and I know he will be as well, so I think we'll both deal with that quite well. And I think it's just going to come down to putting a show on. I think we both want to put a show on as well. I'm not going to lie, I think when the fight is happening, I am going to probably be a nightmare. I'd never been to an MMA fight before and when my husband's in there, I think it's going to be interesting, but I'm going to be going crazy. Worst case scenario. I'll get half an hour of material out of it, so <laughs> the beauty of comedy. The shape of me, lad. For corny. Look, I'm just gonna front headlock him like that. Proper Ben Askren style. What are we looking at? I can't see nothing. <laughs> These are the days when most don't show up, when I'm here. I'm motivated. He hasn't got the work rate I've got. And if he has, it's been for the last six weeks. Not consistently for the past 10 years. No camp, shit don't change. I'm here grinding. November 4th, Porky Pig's dead. Right out then. <laughs> Originally, Prague, Spanitzer. 
I was offered for corny, porky pig, and he turned me down. But he sat with the contract for two weeks, was talking shit about me online, giving it all the big bollocks, and he didn't show up. I guess this time round, don't know, he's grew some bollocks because he's he signed the contract this time, and here we are, November 4th, he's getting his head punched off. No one likes the police around here, mate. No one's on your side. He's going to be feeling the hostility from the very first exchange, from the first step out in front of the curtains. Everyone's dangerous in four ounce gloves. I have to respect his ability. I have to respect his experience. He's had almost 30 professional fights. But is he on my level? Not a chance, mate. Just stand up. Stand up. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to the um, George and Dennis. That's the fight I'm looking forward to. After Shems, you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to see George fight Dennis. George has been training here as well, so it's nice to have someone else on the card that we're, we're a little bit more personal friends with. He's in here every day training with us, lad, and you can't not get better training on this mat. There's that many good people in here. I see Shem coming out fast, putting it on him, getting him on the floor and submitting him in the first round, to be honest. No, I just can't wait to... Because I, I've never been to any of Shem's fights where they've been all around Europe and shit like that, you know what I mean? So this will be the first fight of Shem that I get to go to and actually watch live, so I'm looking forward to it. So when I was on the TV show, the uh, Octagon UK versus Ireland, me and Shem were on opposing teams. He was on the Ireland team, I was on the England team. That, we, we weren't really bothered, we were there. We had a good time. He wasn't giving away any of my secrets, and <laughs> at least I hope he wasn't. <laughs> He's doing all the right things, listening to the coaches, and he's going to punch this lad's head in. I'm so blessed. I feel like I've got the best job in the world. I'm on a platform that not many other people have got the opportunity to, to showcase their talents and skills. Maybe the guy who trains two times a day like a professional athlete, but he goes home and looks after three kids and works a normal nine to five. That motivates me every day. There's so many motivational factors, but one that I can't deny, I'm motivated to punch a police officer in the face. <laughs> no hope. No hope. Yeah, I'll sit next to him like when you put the dog. When the dog's got something in its mouth, spit it out. Spit it out. <laughs> Jednou mi zavolal Ondra Novotný, jestli nevezmu zápas všem rokem na štvenici, já jsem, já jsem měl zaplacenou dovolenou, nebyl jsem po zranění, takže to se nepřijal, takže pak mě tam začal akorát urážet a já jsem říkal, OK, tak pojďme si to, pojďme si to teda dát. Po sportovní stránce určitě to je kvalitně bojovník a po té lidské stránce si myslím, že to je mladý pakl nějaký. Nemá řidický průkaz, bydlí u mámy a hraje si na nějakého genstra boje nebo. Určitě nemá takovou historii na to, aby prohlašoval takový, takový tvrdý slova, ale tomu neberu. Vnímám ho tak, že, že je spíš hloupej, než je nějaké genta boj. Já chápu, že ne všichni mají rádi policisty, ale já jsem nebyl ten, který mu udělal v životě problémy. Pak za něco byl odsouzený, i když nevinně, tak mezi náma je určitě rozdíl a, a, a rozhodně by měl být víc pokorný po tom, co se všechno stalo. Ušek nastoupil, že jo, všem rok do toho oktagonu, ten byl vědět, že kdo si ten zápas, tak to bude z jeho strany takhle vyhrocený a jenom blázen by se k tomu jakoby nenechal stáhnout na tuhle na tuhle ten trash talk. Mě to unudilo k smrti, musím říct, že já jsem ho přestal jako sledovat, vnímat, vyhejvám se tomu, nebaví mě ten jeho v úzovkách trash talk, je to taký, mě přijde moc na, na sílu. Já si myslím, že, že Šemrok není vycházející hvězda z Anglie, on má udělaných 40 fejkových profilů mezi a komentuje si sám svý vlastní komentáře tak, aby e, vypadal dobře a ten, ten kluk je nalepený na, na, na svém Instagramu, všem odepisuje, tak chápu, že lidi, lidi ho mají rádi. A a to, ale vycházející hvězda zatím není. Znám jako dost lidí a během své kariéry jsem poznal dost lidí, spolu jsem pouzil se kámoši, ale co rozhodně řeknu, tak Jarda je ze všech, úplně ze všech co lidí, co znám, největší salámista. Takže něco občas prolítne skrz ten jeho salámistický štít, ale ve finále je schopný se od toho odstřihnout a jede si to svoje. Až ho porazím, tak to pro něj bude nejlepší, nejlepší stupenka pro, pro profesionální sport, že se hodí víc do pokory. Rozhodně to, že prohraje se mnou, mu nezavře dveře. Stop being a little rubber!
I am literally gonna look two weight classes bigger than this fella when we get in there. I'm gonna tower over him at the face-off in the cage and he's just gonna think, wow, this cunt's massive. Feeling happier, getting a lot better in myself. And better for the family now he's out and the kids are all happy. You know, they were in a dark place when he was in jail and it has a big effect on everybody. So, but now, yeah, happy times. You know he's living every day of his life shocked on. Do you reckon? He yeah. stopped speaking now, like he was, he, was, um, he was in the DMs every day. And now he's gone silent. Even if I tag him in something, he'll just see it but won't reply. <laughs> Where before he was, he was chatting all yeah. your mum this, your mum that. Yeah, I'll be on top of him, hammer fisting him, going, let's speak now, let's speak now. And I guarantee you'll be looking at me in silence. These green spots. Just tasting it, you know what I mean? A little food tester. Oh. MMA like you've never seen before. November 4th, live at the AO Arena in Manchester. Get your tickets for Octagon 48 now at octagonmma.com.